today, once again, I am joined by Mackenzie Ladoon, the Crop Extension Specialist for the Government of Saskatchewan, and she is here today to give us the crop report. So thank you so much for being with me today, Mackenzie. Thank you so much for having me today, Thomas. And so, Mackenzie, a lot of producers around here are finished up or are at least close to finishing up their harvest. How is it looking across the province in terms of completion rate for harvesting? Absolutely. So like you said, Thomas, many producers are really starting to either put their combines away or entering their last leg of harvest for this year. Right now, the province is sitting at 91% of the provincial crop in the bin, and this is ahead of our five and 10 year averages of 73%. If we look at things and we break things down to a more regional level, we see that the West Central and Southwest are essentially done harvest. So they have both 97 and 98% of their crops off, and that's respectively, of course. The Northwest is now 90% completed, followed by the Southeast at 89% and the Northeast at 88%. The East Central region really made some fantastic progress this past week with an increase of 16%, and they are now sitting at 82% completed. And why is harvest so much further ahead of schedule this year than the usual five and 10 year averages? So this growing season, what we saw our producers dealing with, of course, was those dry conditions that really persisted right from, right from seeding, right to harvest. So of course, under dry conditions, our plants, when they stop having moisture to take up through the roots, they start to dry down naturally. So the, that increased plant dry down time frame had, of course, like producers into the fields a little bit quicker to start combining a little bit faster as well. Also, our harvest has progressed pretty, pretty quickly this year because we've had a dry harvesting season as well. So with there not being any rain, it means that the combines can go unstopped or uninterrupted. So they just can keep going through the fields and keep combining without having to pause and wait for the rain to stop. And with a good portion of the province being finished up, Mackenzie, what are the early yields looking like for producers here in Saskatchewan? So we are asking our crop reports to report on, report on yield in the next couple of weeks. However, a couple of weeks ago at the beginning of the month, we had our yields be reported on. And what we're seeing is that right now we're actually sitting pretty close to our average yields. Of course, that all depends on where you are in the province and if you got rain during that very critical yield determining stage and also that very critical grain filling stage. But we are seeing that reporters are reporting that their yields are looking generally better than what they were expecting given the drying conditions. But of course, like I said, that depends on where you are in the province and if you got rain or not. And Mackenzie, why are the yields better than expected as, of course, we've been talking about it throughout the year that we've had drier conditions, not as much rain when we needed it. So why are the yields as good as they are when they were expected to be much worse? That's actually a really great question, Thomas, and I don't actually have the answer for that. Um, what I do know, though, is on the east side of the province, we did have a pretty wet spring. So leading up to seeding, there was pretty heavy wet snowfalls, and there was quite a bit of moisture that moved through the regions on the west side, or sorry, on the east side of the province. So that moisture on the east side of the province was able to fill those soil reserves for our growing season, and that may have contributed to better cropping systems over on the east side of the province. However, that's just anecdotally. I don't actually know for sure why we're seeing such it's such high yields given the cropping year, but that's always a good thing, of course. And so with a very dry spring, summer, and possibly fall, what is that going to be doing for those moisture reserves in the soil throughout the province of Saskatchewan, and how is it going to affect possibly next year's harvest? Good question, Thomas. And of course, next year's future, and I would like to have, I would love to be able to predict the future, but I can't exactly. Um, but what we do know is that our producers right now are hoping that they do get that moisture to move through the region to help fill those soil reserve levels and the soil moisture levels for next cropping season. Because right now our soil moistures are a little bit limited. So if we don't get any moisture refill, they might be limited going to the next growing season, which is less than ideal. However, it's mother nature and it will happen. Mother nature will do what mother nature will do and we'll either get rain or snow or we won't. Thank you so much for all the information, Mackenzie, and we'll definitely have you back soon for another crop report. Thank you so much, Thomas.